Hello, uh, my name is Ben Lee, and I'm going to tell you uh, everything that you need to know about hard drive fragmentation and what you need to do to defragment your hard drive in Windows 8. Now, Windows 7 and Windows 8 is pretty much the same thing, so if any of you guys out there are using Windows 7, uh, this tutorial should be able to uh, help you figure out how to defragment your hard drive. Um, hard drives they become defrag they do become fragmented over time as files and programs are accessed. Uh, think of your hard drive as a filing cabinet, and every time you access a program or uh, pull up a file, you're taking a file out of that filing cabinet. And the more of these files and programs that you access, the more scattered this filing cabinet becomes. And this is what you would call fragmentation. Uh, so when your hard drive becomes fragmented, they need, to, they need to be defragmented. In other words, you've got to be able to put that filing cabinet back in order. Uh, is what happens is these your hard drive becomes more and more fragmented, these files become scattered, and the head, the reading head on the hard drive has to search a lot more to find the files. Rather than the file being where it's supposed to be in one nice little clump, uh, you know, one part will be over here, one part will be over there, and then your access time for that program or file will uh, go up. It will take it longer for it to find and access the file. Now, most of the times it's not very noticeable, but if you, in some of my clients' computers, they've, they've had their computers for years and they've never defragmented their hard drives and they are horrifically slow when trying to access a program. Um, there's quite a few programs out there to allow you to defragment your hard drive, but right now I'm gonna show you Windows uh, defragmenter. Um, it's built in um, and it's the one I'm going to show you how to use. Now if you want to get to it and you want to get to it quickly, um, I'm using Windows 8.1 here, uh, you click on uh, your little uh, uh, your file explorer down here, oh, there. it's always there, it's default. And then you go and you click on whichever uh, your hard drive, okay? Now, this is the primary, and that's the one that most people need to fragment, okay? Uh, defragment. Uh, you click on Tools, and then you click on Optimize. One more time, you go to uh, a hard drive, uh, and you click on one of them, right click, and then you go down to Properties, and then you click on Tools, and and optimize and defragment drive. Optimizing your computer's drives can help it run more efficiently. You click on optimize and you wait for it to load up. And here we go. All right, now you can see that it's showing all of my volumes. Uh, my primary, which has Windows 8.1 installed, and it has uh, my secondary drives, uh, which one has my movies on, on it, uh, and a bunch of other things uh, that I will actually show you later on when these tutorials get more advanced. And then I have a just a storage drive that has nothing on it whatsoever. Um, now, so what you want to do is obviously to see if your hard drive is even fragmented in the first place, you're going to want to analyze. So you click on Analyze, and you wait. Um, and you, you can watch as it uh, slowly but surely analyzes the drive. And while it's analyzing, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. Um, fortunately, uh, Microsoft and its wisdom has discovered that most people do not defragment their hard drives in which they should and if you noticed here uh, drives the drives are being optimized automatically and the frequency is weekly <clears throat> that's usually 
how you should uh, you should frag defragment your hard drive weekly. And Microsoft, in its infinite wisdom, has set up in Windows 7 and 8 uh, to, by default, it defragments your hard drive every week. Um, and you can see it says 0% fragmentation. Now, uh, let's say that it was fragmented, which it probably wouldn't be because by default it's already defragmenting. But say it was defragmented. Uh, it was very fragmented, and you want to defragment it, and then you click on Optimize, and it'll go, and it'll analyze, and it will take some time. If you if you say it's 10 or 11 or, God forbid, 30 or 40% fragmented, it could take quite a while because this is a one terabyte drive that I have here. And it, the larger the drive, the longer it takes for it to defragment. And um, so we it goes through the analyzation process and then it begins to defragment and then it optimizes. And what it does is first it... Uh, analyzes, finds all the files that are fragmented, then it, it will defragment them, it means puts them back in order, and then optimizing them means that it catalogs them, and when it defragments it, it just puts the files back together again. Um, takes all the programs that have been scattered apart, apart, and all the files that have been scattered around, and it puts them together again, and, and as close as they possibly can, and then, uh, but you're still left with uh, files, even though they've been defragmented, they're together again, but they're still scattered about the drive, and is what optimization does, is it actually moves all these files together, uh, so not only does it reorganize your filing cabinet, but it more or less puts all the files in one drawer. So rather than you having uh, your files organized but in several drawers or several filing cabinets, now you've got it all in one drawer, and that even that increases your hard drive access time even more. Um, and you can see it's right now it's running it's relocating the files that means there was no defrag there was no fragmentation so now it's in the optimization phase and it's moving the files around to try to get them uh really close together and uh you know and and increase that access time uh well actually decrease that access time i'm sorry you, the the shorter amount of time it takes for it to find a file the better um but notice it says that there's 0% fragmentation when I started this. And I can tell you right now, that is not true. Um, the reason why this Windows has this issue, um, it will not defragment large files. Now, for your average user, uh, if you're just using Windows for, say... Getting online, listening to music, you know, streaming Netflix or whatever, or just you know, using Office or something for homework or or, or school or or uh, job related things. You're not going to fragment your hard drive that much, and the files that you're using aren't that large. But Microsoft's defragmentation, it it only defragments smaller size files. And then uh, for gamers, this is an issue. Because, for instance, let's, uh, let's pull a name out of a hat, uh, Guild Wars 2. <clears throat> that file is massive. We're talking uh, like a 20 gigabyte batch file, and um, Windows just passes that over. It does not defragment these files. Um, I know for a fact that this right here is not 0% fragmented um, and I can show you this but I will leave this up and show a comparison between this and another program there's a program called OSLogix and um, OSLogix is a free program and uh, you should really get it you really should get it. Uh, it's totally free, and 
this is the best way to to let you know. Um, now, look here. This is the same volume as this one. This Microsoft says 0% fragmentation. Uh, Oslogics, I'm going to let it analyze. And um, I recently ran, uh, I fr defragmented it, but it, look, look, see, it's already going in. All the red is showing you all the fragmented files. <clears throat> And these are game files. These are files that are very large, and large files is what Microsoft Defrag passes over. Uh, I believe it's anything larger than 64 mega megabytes uh, it will pass over. Um, and then you've got, like, batch files for video games that are just gigabytes. They're large and very large files. And, um, like, here's one. Very, very large. Uh, you can actually click and see. See, there's the Guild Wars file right there. Uh, what that one big long train is actually one massive file, and it's 20 gigabytes large. Um, and you see right there, it's finished. Uh, it's actually finished now, and it says I have 7% fragmentation, and that's going against what Microsoft says. Uh, but if you're not using your machine as a gaming machine, you, you won't run into this problem. You can just use... Microsoft Windows, and that will keep your machine doing very well. But me, as a gamer, and I use other programs that are quite large, and I have very large files on my machine, um, I get run into this problem. The files that get passed over by Microsoft, they get very fragmented, and that's bad for a gamer because you don't want your game uh, very, very fragmented like this because then you, uh, well, your game access and your load times get, get slower and slower. And it works exactly the same way, except just these buttons are in different places. Just like Microsoft defrag, uh, defragments and optimizes the file, so does uh, uh, Logix disk defrag. You click on this little arrow, and we've already analyzed, so we know what it is. And um, it has an option where quick defrag, where you can skip the analyzation process altogether. It saves you a little bit of time. And it has regular defrag, and then you do defrag and optimize. And you click on this. Now, like I said, I have a one terabyte hard drive, so <laughs> this would be a very long video if I waited for this to finish. But I will let it run a little while and let you see uh, the differences between these programs. Now, like I said, there's nothing wrong with um, Microsoft Windows uh, disk defragmenting tool. I mean, <clears throat> it does it automatically, and for average Joes out there, it's going to work great. Uh, but for gamers or anybody uh, that uses larger files, not even just gamers, I mean, uh, people who... Uh, do CG work or, or you know or, or like me have uh, movies stored on their computers these are very large files that Microsoft disk defragmenter will not defragment um, <clears throat> and uh, so you can see the comparison here that is clearly you know inconsistency between the two, but there's a reason why. Uh, Microsoft just passes over these m super massive files. And uh, you've got Oslogix right here is running in the background, and it's also another cool little tool. You get to watch it work and actually move the individual files, and uh, if, if it was very, if I was a if I was a bad boy, I would let it get really bad, and you would see the files all over the place, and eventually you would see it, all these reds go uh, go green, go blue, and then then you would see it move them and cluster them together up here at the top, and get them all nice and compact. Um, now, th this is pretty much all you really need to know about how to defragment a uh, Windows 8 machine, and a Windows 7 machine. Um, you can just, like I said, go back and right-click and go to Properties, 
and then you uh, tools and then optimize and it brings it right on up um, but like I said you know average user would never even see this because it's doing it automatically but if you've noticed that your computer is getting very very slow or if you're playing games and you're like wow my game is not loading as fast as it used to it's because uh, your uh, Microsoft Windows is not defragmenting that game file mostly because it's too large uh, so you need to go and get OsLogix Disk Defrag, and I will actually include the link in the description of the uh, in the video description, and let you know. And OsLogix is totally free, and I've been using this for years. In fact, I've <clears throat> been using it so long I've totally forgotten that Microsoft even has a disk defragmenting tool. But um, it uh, also logic comes in handy. Now here's something I did wrong. Now what I did wrong was is in my haste I forgot to do something. Now when you go to defragment something this way uh, or any way, it's busy working away trying to defragment files, and a lot of them could be junk. That's why you need to go in and, let's say, uh, your desktop and make sure that your uh, recycle bin, make sure there's nothing in your recycle bin. Because if there is, yeah, uh, you know, it's your defragmenting tool is going to work its way around trying to defragment and get all those junk files in order. So make sure to clean out junk files, especially in your um, your cache, your uh, your um, for your browser. Uh, a lot of these browsers, they store one or two gigabytes worth of data um, just in its cache. And all you have to do is just go in there and clean out the cache. And that will actually save a lot, quite a bit of time whenever you go to defragment. You know, there's no point in defragmenting junk files. You know, just delete those junk files. And um, I'll actually show you cleaning out caches and stuff in another video. But I just wanted to focus on defragmentation in this video. Um, and as you can see it's been quite a while and it's still only at 11 percent and that's still just defragmentation. We haven't even gotten into the optimization phase. But it is extremely thorough program and uh, I really enjoy using OsLogix. And <clears throat> so this is just about everything you need to know about defragmentation. Now, I will have a whole series of videos uh, showing you everything you need to know. They'll start out basic, and then we'll get more and more complex. I uh, will start showing you how to replace hardware, um, and even eventually we will work our way up to a complete computer build. Uh, we'll show you how to build an entire computer uh, out of parts you know you order offline um, thanks for watching guys um, I'm just gonna leave this running uh, and uh, this is Ben Lee uh, and uh, I look forward to reading your comments and suggestions if any of you have videos you would like to see or questions uh, about things you would like for me to explain um, um, all ears, so to speak. So, uh, everyone, enjoy the video, and just any comments, uh, put them in the comments box. I'll read them, and I'll try to follow up as best I can. Uh, thanks for watching.